And absolutely constantly. Guys, the game has started. The last Three, match of the day. It's two, Seven versus Gaon one, on Blood Run. Fight. And I am... I'm going to start with Seven. And uh, Gaon's got to watch out. Seven is a beast on this map. But, uh... I think Genon, you know, he doesn't need lessons from me. He knows exactly what he's up against in this matchup. Yep, I mean, Seven uh, really needs to play it careful. Mm -hmm. He's playing Genon on the blood run. That's not going to be an easy task. Exactly, I mean, so it works both ways. Um, Seven going to be able to... Rocket jump to the red armor. It's going to be a risk. He wants to do it. He misses the jump. How can he improvise after this? And look at that shake of the mouse. That is a, a sign of frustration there from Seven. All of the items are on the map up just at that moment. Yeah, he was shaking his head <laughs> in real life as well, the same way. What? You have taken the lead. <laughs> There's a mega up us? Seven. I, I, are you serious? I don't even know. That, that was never a kill that was meant to happen. After the mouse shake, the mouse shake was there. It seemed like it was going to be impossible for Seven to at least, you know, get the first frag, or any frag, early on. I think that uh, drop was just a tactical delay or something like that. The attack, ta totally tactical. So, so, the whole thing. It was just a, a ploy. And now he's hitting vertical rails. He hits another one, unbelievably enough. But he hasn't got a damn clue when the Mega Health spawns, so he's not challenging it, which is a big shame. Because there certainly was another kill uh, there for him that Genon would have been concerned about. Oh my, oh. Genon with a great ambush though. He might be actually getting the kill, but oh. no, Genon is super low. Finally, there Seven with a finish. <laughs> what are you doing, Seven? He's gonna shake his head again. I don't know what the hell he's doing with his mouse at the moment. That's not meant. That's not a. A difficult jump for someone of his caliber. And oh, well. again, is is Seven not having a clue when the Mega spawns, and he really needs to focus on that because this is where Genon's potential comeback is all going to stem from in the end. And now Seven is by the Mega, but he's here to do damage again in case he goes to red. LG, this is where you need to be strong, and he isn't. He misses out, and Genon is gonna be able to begin that comeback straight away. And as I said. If Seven knew about the Mega, this would all not be happening to him. <laughs> Homing missile at the end to tie the game up. Didn't think the kill was going to happen that way, but it did. Yeah, it was very good for Gianna there. Not taking too much damage himself. Mm -hmm. Just good rockets. I'm going to continue watching Gion though, as he's put himself into 100, 150, 7. Well, you can take a, a, ch a chunk of 100 out of that, and that's what 7's got. And here we've got the LG going. And both these guys are just kind of, like, messing with their mice. Not happy with, uh... Well, 7's not happy with how he's moving, and Gion's not happy with how he's hitting the clutch nades! Oh, my days. And finally, Sam has a timing for the mate. <laughs> yes! This, this is actually a big deal for Seven, though. He needs it, and even a little cute rocket jump to get him out of there. It's difficult not to smile when you see grenades like that happen. So, all of a sudden, everything is good. All those movement mistakes don't matter anymore, because you managed to chuck some of those potatoes right at Gion's face. Yeah, and I think Gion was probably smashing his table at that point. Mm -hmm. Getting caught by those pineapples. For sure. Well, this, this top yellow is up at the moment. Seven doesn't need to dodge onto it at all. That would be too predictable. But he's yeah, he's faking it out and he's making it really hard for Genon to hit him. But how much uh, damage did Seven just deal there with the LG and not get the kill? He was, that was surely going to be a kill for him. Genon was left with 9 health from that. I'm just looking at his point of view now. He took the, the yellow armor and he took the 50 health bubble. He was on 59 health. 50 well, health. I guess we can just say good job, Genon, for uh, taking the game for himself again. Yeah. For sure. He's, he is keeping it really close at the moment. He needs to get out and make sure he can do some damage on red in case Seven's around. But he's not around. And Genon's just going to be like, thank you very much. Red armor, please. And he's going to have to get down to that lower yellow. Oh no, Seven, you're too slow. Why were you just walking in the abyss then? 
It's tied up. Clement's not going to get uh, his Five second victory away. of the groups that easily, it seems. It's been such a difficult day for the French player. And maybe it's going to get worse for him in uh, just under five minutes' time. Yeah, I don't know. Has the mega. This the time dodges up. the grenade. That this time, yes. Round of applause. We get on. <laughs> oh, wow, the reactions. Didn't even chase very far. Just managed to get a perfect uh, beam of lightning to scan across he, into the hallway. Yeah, he doesn't really need to chase. He just applies a slight bit of pressure and uh, makes the game a lot easier for himself. Mm-hmm. Little flick shot there, a seven drop down on the ground. Would like to hit another rail, but he's not gonna get it in the end. Seven's gonna walk away with about 70 armor. And the red armor up. It's gonna be a jump. Seven needs to get off. Oh, the rail from Genon hits! I was watching that from Seven's point of view, and I, I thought he was gonna make it. He tried to be as quick as possible, but Genon with lightning reflexes just then. Taking the lead for himself. And there's 10 seconds till Red and Mega. I wonder what he's going to be able to do with these items. Uh, one more rail from Seven, and it's a frag. But he's nope. backed off and just got the red. Yeah, he Fire. just rather get it set. He might be getting the frag here. Chase? Is he gonna chase? He's, is he gonna go for it? He goes for the rail! If he, he has lightning gun left. Why didn't you just go for the kill with that weapon? He's I don't moving think he now. realized. Oh man, that was that's not an easy shot to make, but Seven gets the frag with it. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say he makes life damn difficult for himself trying to go for these He's rails. A show off. Yeah, it's it's a hard angle for him, but I, I guess he was feeling it then. And he's got the red armor. He's gonna get the mega health. The life is looking better now for Seven, and Gino's just gonna run into him. That's a freebie right there. You have taken the lead. Five to four. Oh, okay, nice little flick. Gonna be an LG switch there. Again, I'm looking for some pummel damage, but nothing will be there. Yep, seven just extending his lead. A couple of easy frags. Whoa, seven. Once again, not getting to the red. It's like a recurring team in this game. Seven not getting to the red. And he might be going down. It's a mutual frag there. Rocket to seven, and seven kills with the shotgun. Oh, Genon gets a slightly better spawn as well. He gets the frag with the rockets. Nicely done. That mutual frag was very, very close, by the way. Seven only did enough damage just to get the kill by the single you know, point of damage. Whereas Genon did a little bit extra and took him into the negative health points. Of, In any uh, case, it was fair for Genon. Oh, down at the LG. Seven digging his own grave. And he might be doing it again if he doesn't get out. It just walks in, walks out like going accidentally into the woman's bathroom. Oh dear, that LG. Oh, that dive truck is enough. Yeah, I mean, this is the shock is working for both players at the moment. Reds up though, and again on certainly reaping the benefits at the moment. Seven, if he can get this lower yellow, then it's happy days. And he's got a chance, well, at least a bigger chance of making it to an overtime. Seven finds Genon, just gets a bit of damage early on, but I don't think he got enough. Seven should have done more than that. Yeah, he got a nice surprise, but uh, he just knew immediately after starting the fight that he can't stay for it. The stack difference was just too big. Genon just left as Seven moved on to the red armor then. That's a big missed chance for Genon, actually. I'm, I'm watching Seven right now. And I want to see what he can do with this. If he's kept a timing, uh, just kept a tally on when Mega should be spawning. He won't have a, an exact timing, but he'll have a good guesstimate. I think he should have uh, gone a bit more aggressive on the Mega area. Especially when he hears the opponent there. I mean, he did deal the one rail there and uh, getting the red for himself again. But I think he could have bullied it. Yeah, no, out of the mega area completely. Yeah. And it's actually a shame for Seven because now that Genon's grabbed some armor as well as that mega, he's sitting on pretty near 200 200. 
There's really not much difference, though, between the stacks. There was 10 seconds to go. We might get another overtime, or is this fight going to decide it? Seven thinks twice about it and says, you know what? I would rather have an extra two minutes, and we will get an overtime here on the last game of the day. But again, on chasing quickly, as soon as uh, the extra time hits. I think Gennar wanted to get the frag barely before the overtime, but he couldn't even get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he, he wanted to go for it, but there's going to be a bit of extra pressure on the two players at the moment. Seven doesn't, he really would like another win today. He can't lose his heart now. That red's going to be up, he's just grabbing a couple of extra cheeky slices of armor. But this this uh, pressure from Genon is becoming pretty overwhelming. Misses that rail again and Seven just comes back in for an extra, an extra go. There's going to be a rush for the mega health and Seven's going to win it actually. But what does it matter if Seven's not going to land any of this damage? It won't, it won't mean a thing. Yeah, and he desperately needs some armor, any armor. He gets the Yatalo here, and then the red is up. Oh man. Oh, that rail actually hit. Oh dear. Seven with an incredible combo there, and another rail. He could, should be going for the red, but he probably thinks it has been taken since it has been up for so long. <laughs> I can't believe Seven did that. The oh, little rocket amazing bounce. Amazing combat skills. That was that was immense play from Seven. He's gonna go up and try and get himself onto the red. I think Genon just tried to do a, a grenade jump. Oh what? 18 health left. Oh Seven just gets the Clutch kill. Rail. Crazy crazy stuff. But did Nine you notice seven. that again? Seven did not get on the red platform. He didn't. He didn't go for it. But uh, I think he just didn't want to put himself in, in the kind of the, the, the tourist spot, where there's just so much action already. He doesn't need to give away a kill now. Just hold this position up top, and it's going to be good game. Seven will get himself another victory today. But what's the scoreline going to be? It's going to be 10-7. Well played. Oh, man. Gutted, Genon. Absolutely gutted. Whew. Um, Congratulations, Seven. Okay, so what Nico just said to me, the... Uh, the organizer of all of this, the main admin, says if Claws Genon and Plasma beats... are the same. Pardon? Uh, Claws and Plasma are on the uh, same uh, score now. What Nico said is if Genon beats Seven, then it's going to be a tie match for first, second, and third. But Seven uh, just won. So it's not tied. That means if we look at the brackets, it's going to be Claws. Is going through number one because he beat Plasma. Even though both the players have got four victories and one loss, uh, Claus has got the 